Okay guys, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is your host, Santos Capilan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm going to do is to explain how are you going to use PID controller in a script program. Okay. Now, previously in my last tutorial, or several last tutorial rather, I have shown you how a bug can be controlled through a PID controller using functional block programming. Okay, now in function block programming, it's very easy to use a PID. Okay, because there is a PID block, all you need to do is use that block, then supply all the necessary parameters in that PID block. But if you are going to use the PID controller in a script program, there, there are some classes involved. Okay, so before anything, and let me show you how this PID uh, controller uh, works in a script program. Okay, now I have here my graphics, a simple graphics for uh, uh, valve control. Again, okay? assuming this is an air handling valve, okay, or cooling coil valve. Now, uh, this is my uh, set point and the supply air temperature being delivered to the area. Now, guys, as you can see here, the valve is already uh, opening at 100%, meaning our script program, specifically the PID controller output is 100%, okay, based on the uh, set point or the desired value be, uh, compared to the uh, measured variable, okay? So let's say I will adjust the set point. I want a more, uh, let's say, I want 25, okay, in that area. So as you can see, the valve responds accordingly, okay? Now, as you can see, the valve is responding smoothly or slowly. This is based on the integral time okay first proportional plus integral by the way uh, since this is a simple temperature control so we are just using here pi so we disregard the derivative component of the pi okay so as you can see the valve is slowly opening and closing okay now I, I based on my experience this is a good response okay this is not an erratic response when you say erratic response the valve will fully open then fully close fully open fully close now a good PID controller or a smooth control is when you see the opening and closing of the valve is uh, smoothly opening and closing. Okay. Now let's say uh, I will try to make the set point and the measured variable equal. Okay. As you can see here, the valve will try to maintain the control signal. Okay. As you can see now, it's uh, staying at 5.1% open the valve, meaning in this opening, I was able to maintain the set point and the, I mean, I was able to maintain the set point because my measured variable is 24, then my set point is uh, 24. So meaning there is no error between the measured variable and the set point. So the, the valve, will stay on that opening because that opening is sufficient enough to maintain the set point. So you see how the PID controller uh, works, okay? Now, uh, for the guys who are going to program the control, uh, that will be the scope of the um, next uh, tutorial, okay? So I will be discussing the, what you call this, the step-by-step how are you going to use the PID controller in a script program? Okay, guys. Now, actually, guys, uh, I'm doing a tutorial for members and non-members. So maybe you will ask, what are the perks that we can get if we will join to your YouTube channel? Guys, first of all, uh, I'm doing this to help new engineers who are joining the field of building automation, okay, the, or the building management system. If you are a new engineer or you are a graduate of any technical course and you are, uh, you wish to join this field, now this tutorial is for you, okay? Now, if you don't want to be a member, then there, there I have some tutorials for non-members, but I have also tutorials for members. So what are the perks that you can get? Okay, now I will, in being a member, you are entitled to see the detailed 
programming. Okay? Then, uh, you will see also some of the build graphics for building automation. I mean, I prepare some graphics for building automation. I have some logic for most of the HBAC equipment. Okay? Then, I can also support you if you have an existing project. Not I'm not saying I will do the work or I will do the job for you. I might give you some idea how are you going to solve this kind of problem. Then you can always uh, send a comment. Okay? Then I can always respond to your comments uh, or I can give priority to your comments. Okay? Now, so that is uh, some of the perks that you can get if you will become a member. Okay, guys? So, as you can see here, guys, let me go back to the valve control. When the set point and the measured variable are the same, so meaning there is no error, so the valve will stay at that opening. Okay, let's see some disturbance in the system. Okay, now let's say uh, you receive a complaint. The BMS operator receive a complaint that 24 is too cold for that area. So, you will try to, uh, to raise the set point. Okay, sorry for that background. Okay, so you will uh, raise the set point now 24.5, 24. I have a 0.5 error there. Okay, so the valve try to close it because our temperature is 24 and the set point is 25. Okay, now guys, this is just a simulation. Okay, now as you can see in the real field, you will you might see different response because it is a real time scenario, but here. You already have an idea. Ah, okay, my PID controller is controlling my valve smoothly. Okay. Now let's say I again 24. I changed the set point to 24. Again, as you can see, the valve respond accordingly. Now I can also play with this one. So I let's say I my temperature now is 25. Okay, so let me see because I'm forcing. Okay. As you can see. Now the valve is responding. I will try to open because the set point, there's some error there, a one degree error. Then the valve will always try to make the set point and the measured variable equal. Okay? So you can see here the valve is responding accordingly. So this is how uh, PID uh, controller being used in a script program. So watch for the next uh, part of this tutorial so i'm going to walk you through with the script program wherein i included a function pid loop function okay then we are calling that function in our uh, main program or script program then that function will return the uh, bulb output control signal okay so guys this is a script program wherein i include a PID controller or a PID control in my script program. Okay. So once again, if you are new to my channel, please support my channel by subscribing. You can also click the notification bell. If you want to be notified if there is a new upload in my channel. And again, uh, thank you for your support. This is your host, Santos Capitan Jr. Always end the tutorial by saying God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye for now.